Many times with self-injury, there is a contagion factor involved where students are engaged in self-injury because other students are engaged in self-injury. Sometimes students do this to be a part of a group, to be accepted by a particular person. So we need to look at what are the underlying reasons why they're engaging in it. Is it because of acceptance? Is it because of the need to be seen? Is there something going on in their families of origin? One of the things that we can do as far as contagion is talk to those students that are just dabbling in self-injury. Talk to them about the addictive properties of self-injury, that many times with self-injurious behavior they need to cut or burn more and more to get the same effect. The other thing that we can do is talk about the consequences of engaging in this behavior. The scarring that can happen that's permanent, um, the real difficulties emotionally when you really engage in this behavior. So there are definitely things that we can do to interrupt this process of contagion that's happening in our youth today.